Hi, I am Naim Akram Malik from Test Automation TV. In this video, I am going to show you how you can read data from an Excel file to incorporate it as a test configuration data. We are going to use the Excel Data Reader open source library. Let us take a look at the GitHub page of Excel Data Reader. If we scroll down, we can see that a how to use example is provided by Excel Data Reader. So we are going to utilize this piece of code just so that if it changes in the future, you will know where did the code come from. Now I will go to the Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio Community Edition and I have created a Visual Studio uh, a C -sharp .NET unit test project. So I will go to the Solution Explorer and I will right click the references and manage NuGet packages. Now over here, I am going to search for Excel Data Reader in the Browse tab. No time on the Browse tab. Alright, first of all, I will install the Excel Data Reader. Once it is installed, I am going to install the extension Excel Data Reader dot dataset. Once this installation is also completed, I am going to go back to uh, the code file, to the test code file and over here, I am going to add a new class initialize method. This is going to be a public static void method and it is going to take a test context as a parameter. Now we have this much. Now let us go back and copy the code. So I am going to copy all the code up to this left bracket. I will right click copy and I will go in our class initialize method and over here I am going to paste the code. I know that I need to supply two right parentheses here because we added two left parentheses when we were copying the code. Now let us bring in the namespace for file IO that will be system.io and also bring in the namespace for Excel data reader as well. Both are here. Now it is asking for file path. I will minimize everything and I will shift right click on this file which is on my desktop and I will copy this file path. Go back and over here I am going to supply the file path. Actually there will be double quotes already. So at the rate and paste. Alright, so this is it. Now we are going to go back and we are going to copy the line which is going to read data. Reader dot as data set. This method call is going to return a data set which we need to define here. Data set m test data that's a class member and we need to bring in the namespace for this one as well and over here I would say m test data oh we need to make it a static all right so static so now that's a static variable the data set is static I say m test data equals to whatever we copied magic <laughs> So now let us build everything and before we run, I want you to see how does the data look like in this Excel file. So we have basically two separate sheets over here. The first one is named sheet one. The first row will be considered the data header and then there is going to be data. So now let us close this and I'm going to place a breakpoint here and 
and now I am going to debug the test which we have. Now let us perform a quick watch on this variable and here I am going to see what is in there. So now you can see that the data set visualizer is showing us that we have three tables in this excel sheet Yes, we have three tables and the rows of the data are also shown here. But you will notice a problem that the header row is different from what we initially expected. So the very first row of the excel data sheet is being considered data. It is not being considered a header. So at least we are able to read some data. Now let us stop it here. In your code make sure that everything is working up till this point. If you have made it this far, I am going to go back to the Excel data reader um, GitHub repository and over here they have this as dataset configuration options sample available and from this sample we can see that we need to call the as dataset method in a different way if we want to enable different options. The different option which we want to enable is to use header row as a false. So now I am going to copy this stuff from here. The parameter of as dataset method call I am copying this. I am going here. I will hit enter between the curly brackets or between the method brackets. All right. This means we also need to add this over here, right? And then I'll go back and over here we can see that there is this configure table thing. We are going to copy this as well and this is also going to be very simple. Don't worry. I'm with you. All right. So back and in the middle of these braces, these curly braces, I'm going to place this thing okay and I will add another bracket over here just like that so now you know you are ABC I mean <laughs> your stuff okay so here we are going to copy the use header row equals to false but we are going to make it true like this use header row equals to true now let us build And once the build is finished, we are going to debug it. All right, so the breakpoint has been hit. Now let us see what's inside this variable. Go here. Okay, so now you see that the header over here is test name input data input data. So the header is now behaving the header is now loading correctly for all the data tables which are available inside the data set for my youtube audience the link to my udemy course is given below in the description please click it and enroll in my course i teach a lot of examples a lot of useful things about test automation like the one which i have shown here for totally free so that course is available on udemy please join the course and help me make more content like this thank you very much